was just a dream Just a moment ago I was up so high Looking down at the sky Don't let me fall I was shooting for stars And what was your style of play? Uh, I was... I started off as a pretty straightforward sort of player. I just did a lot of clearing and smashing and the odd drop. And then I, I lost to a, an Australian number one, Alan McCabe, who played a very deceptive game. And it just opened a different slant on the game completely to me with this deception where he could wrong foot people, keep them off balance, keep them off balance so they could never even get a, a really good smash in because they were never set completely to do it. And so for the next two years I changed the style of my play, practiced deception and then I became um, reasonably deceptive uh, in, the, in the style of play I, uh, I did promote. And I found that, that the same thing, that you could keep people off balance, keep them guessing and they never really, even against a very strong smasher, and never really, or very seldom, got got set to deliver sort of a, the full strength because they were all slightly off balance, and they might even make an error trying. As a lot of people don't realise how strenuous badminton is, or how fast it is either. They keep sort of thinking, oh, it's, it's a game you play on the beach. Well. Believe me, championship inter or international badminton is nothing like that at all. And it's very fast, uh, you must have stamina, you have to have very good court coverage, so your reactions have to be good, and you, for defence your reactions have to be razor sharp. We see some of the top players in the world these days, their defence is absolutely magnificent. People just um, hurling uh, 100 mile an hour smashes at them and they, they somehow or other get them back, but they also control them. That it's a good philosophy to say, to aim high when we're looking at getting like... Oh, yes, yeah. 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 Aim, aim high, all right, yes. <laughs> uh, just being good isn't good enough. You've got to be the best or, or better than you think you are. Sometimes uh, young players nowadays go over for maybe two or three weeks in, in Europe. Uh, is that maybe yeah, it's not... It's not long enough to, yeah. to progress. Uh, it takes longer than that to come up to speed. You know, if you've done it before, you can come up sort of reasonably quickly, but okay. you really don't obtain uh, and be comfortable at playing the speed. Uh, it takes it takes longer than that. What's the, what recommended time would it be? Would you recommend a young player? Oh, I'd say six six to eight weeks, something like that, to to uh, really get used to speed. Because it's not just getting used to it, you've got to feel comfortable that you can play your game at that speed and not, there's a tendency to make a lot of errors because you're trying to keep up with speed. Obviously, a dark colour lets the shuttle stand out well, and you get a good sight. Don't let me fall. Don't let me fall. Don't, don't let me fall. Uh, what advice would you give for parents with, with young players out there playing sport? Uh, be light on the advice, because uh, <laughs> obviously parents want their children to do do well, but it's very easy to become fairly heavy. Uh, to push children and um, even, well, you see it in other sports too, on sidelines at sports, parents yelling uh, out and uh, just, I think, going a little bit overboard. Uh, it's better to step back a bit if you can. It's hard to do to, because, you, again, you're wanting success even at a, at a young age. Yes. But uh, I think it's better to just stay back in the background a bit have your your little say from time to time, but uh, don't, don't overdo it. And obviously, encourage as much as you can. But uh, badminton is a great sport, and it's a family sport too, or can be. A lot of families have gone through uh, the sport uh, with mother and father and 
son and then, then grandson or granddaughter playing. So it, it is a great sport.